Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, now it's finally summer, which is brilliant because we can finally enjoy the sun. And when sun is out, um, we like to, you know, you either stay in your garden or you go to park, you enjoy the sun. And for some girls, you even like to put your bikini top on and then you can have amazing color. Um, so today I want to talk about a very, very interesting um, culture difference. In China, Chinese girls don't like to have a, a sun time. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> You're going to be like, what? <laughs> they don't like to get sun time. Yes. <laughs> um, I think it's, it's people see what's pretty and what's very beautiful is very very different in china um chinese girls oh i would say pretty much asian girls they like their they don't like to get a suntan because they like their skin color is how do i say it it doesn't sound racist it's a bit like like pale skin let's use that word <laughs> um so for example, if you look at my skin now, okay, um, I've not got makeup on and I've just used my normal phone camera to do my videos and my skin is probably not Chinese people probably would like because they like the, the whiter the better. They like really pale skin. You're like, why? Yeah. <laughs> Um, because that's a cultural difference. <laughs> if you watch Chinese movies and Chinese TVs and you look at the girls in telly and they're all like really, really pale, um, I'll show you what I mean quickly. Now I'm using an app. <laughs> this is a Chinese app. When you use this app to do your video recording, can you see the difference? Now my skin is very, very let's just use it pale okay i don't really want to use it like white um because that sounds a bit racist um yeah so that's the difference chinese people like skin like this uh we even have products only in in asia right in china and some asian countries we have the skincare products for ladies and it literally says whitening your skin so these kind of products is one of the basic products. Whatever brand you're doing, as long as you're doing skincare products, you have to have this um, products, which is whitening your skin. So you use these products that make your skin like this, not, and not like this. <laughs> Basically not like my skin. <laughs> Okay, now basically not like my skin because my skin is is a bit darker um, and I don't really like to use sun cream. So I do have a lovely color during the summer, which I like. Um, I got a British husband <laughs> and all my friends are here and they're not Chinese. I'm not in China. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'll talk about what Chinese girls do during summer first of all they they uh, use sun cream and um, sun cream is like at least 50 above and um, so it's quite strong sun cream and because they don't really want to get any sun time at all so they usually buy really expensive face sun cream and then neck and your body, especially arms and legs. Um, yeah, so number one, sun cream. And number two, a hat. So they wear a hat like this, or a purple, I call it sunproof hat. Uh, especially a bigger hat that can cover your face. So you, your face, you don't get um, sun tan, basically. Um, yeah, so that's hat, sun cream hat. And then the next number three um, Chinese girls would like to use is, um, I'll show you. You know them, you know them waterproof tops. 
So, for example, this is sort of like this, right? So I bought these kind of sunproof tops for my kids because I don't want them to get sunburned when um, it's very, very warm, especially when you're on holidays. Um, usually children wear this to protect their skin. But in China, like my friends, like my age, they all like wear this kind of, you know, a black or the other color sunproof um, top. And the outside, they wear a T-shirt because they don't want to get their top, <laughs> your neck, your arms, tanned. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. And I think one more thing, if you travel to China in summer, you'll find it absolutely ridiculous is people use umbrella to block the sun. So usually, it's it's called the umbrella. Outside and inside, there are two layer of protection. So usually, people wear a hat, and people got a umbrella um, to to basically block the sun, so you don't get suntan. Like here in UK, you use umbrella because it's raining. Yeah, it is currently raining, <laughs> and you use the umbrella, right? But in China. In uh, summer, lots and lots of girls, they all get their umbrellas out because what you see is still like, it's not raining. Why you, why you still use umbrella? Because they don't want to get sun time. They want to use this umbrella to block the sun. And they use some umbrella. Sometimes people still wear a hat. So it's like a double protection and wear sun cream. So it's a three layers of protection. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that. People will try their hardest to walk under the shade, you know, just to follow the buildings, um, the high rise buildings. You just follow the shade because they don't want to get not because they don't want to get sunburned i have to say in china in many cities in summer it's ridiculous hot uh, you can get sunburned mainly for girls because they don't want to get sunburned more importantly they don't want to get suntan um yes <laughs> that's a cultural difference it's very very different from uk um we don't really get sun much um I think, but when sun is out, I think we all really enjoy it. And then people really like to have a lovely color, get a lovely sun time. And that's why in China, you will never ever see um, tanning shops in China. <laughs> but here in UK, you can see loads and loads of tanning shops, right? Um, yeah, so that's another cultural difference. Um, and also in UK, when we use sun cream, you can buy those kind of sun creams. It could protect you from getting sunburn, and at the same time, uh, it will make sure you get um, a suntan. So now summer is here. I've just talked about the culture difference. <laughs> um, Chinese girls don't like to get suntan. All right. <laughs> and if you're in UK, and it's a lovely day, sun is out. If you see a girl got umbrella out, she's Chinese. <laughs> All right, I hope you find this time uh, the cultural difference is very interesting. And I'll see you next time. Bye.